You want to pop a squat, golden boy? You're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. Took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. More, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. <sighs> My shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. How is she connected with my soreness? <laughs> she rode your back all the way down the caves to Goldie's place. Really? It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. I take it Groot didn't reach Cosmo? No dice. The tree is persistent. He will keep trying. He was the most convinced we could bring you back, you know. I don't know if it's optimism or stubbornness, but it works for him.
Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Give me a tick. I'll be right there. Here you go. Small marvel crafted. So, about my rays. Hey, Warlock, open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? My meager what? Your meager metal. We stand against an adversary unlike any before. Blinded by burning, hope-fueled hate. Magus, right, your evil twin. That's our adversary. Before such a blaze, still a stooge may steer. But your wide-eyed wonder is merely wit and moxie. You strut as an insecure cock uncertain of his stature. Does that mean what I think it means? This audacity acts as stilts on sand as the tide thralls you in. Leading must be wrought off the fullness of your yearning yoke. Will it be so? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul, and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive, and... and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't- No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. What a 
of wanton hands supply sustenance to this chamber? He's asking for room service now. Come get your own. We've got a full fridge. Well, not exactly. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? Oh. He didn't light it. Peter Quill, I did not expect to find you in here. Hey, sorry. I didn't mean to... It is fine. Your company is always welcome. And... Thank you for the gift. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Figured you might want to light it from time to time, in memory of your family. Why would a lit candle remind me of my family? Every memory I have of them has been carved into my flesh. You... What? The red scars that I bear. They are a record of every great deed, an important milestone in my life. Oh. Well, I just thought it was because they look cool. No, Peter Quill. On Katath, we practice scarification, so that there is a record, proof, that one is worthy to enter Ultath. Such a record is required for judgment in the afterlife. So, your tattoos are actually a record of your life that's been carved into your skin? Yes. The process is known as the Jil Tara, and is extremely painful. It requires focus and self-control, and occurs many times in a Katathian's life. No offense, Drax, but they just look like a bunch of swirly lines. Perhaps to you. To me, they are the most important moments of my life. Each line is composed of a thousand scars, each engraved with the tooth of a walnut creature. What kind of moments get recorded? Kill counts? <laughs> Stuff like that? No, Peter Quill. A Katathian life record is a record of just that. Major milestones and important events. Like the day I became a man. Gross. And the day that Hovat accepted my proposal of marriage. And later, the marriage ceremony itself. And the day that Hovat gave birth to my daughter, Camaria. And the day that I lost them both. Now I see why they're scars. Yes. Once I believed my failure to avenge their deaths had banished us all to Sarduth. But now, thanks to you and the others, I see a deeper truth. Life does not have meaning without suffering as well. So, hypothetically speaking, if you died tomorrow, what would happen? My Cho Ta, <clears throat> my life essence, would travel to the gates of Ultaf. There I will be judged by the great kings and queens of ages past. And if deemed worthy, the gates will open. And if you're not? You know, worthy? The gates do not open. And... I am cast into Sarduth, where I will cease to exist. Yeah. I guess that's bad. So, like, how do these kings and queens know if you're worthy? By reading the scars that make up my life record. From that, they will judge whether I'm worthy. For some, a life of meaning comes from their trade. For others, their family. And others yet, from following the warrior's path. Each is a valid entry into the gates of Ultath. Hence the record. What happens if you don't have a record? Ah. Like yourself. Uh, sure. Like me. What happens to someone like me? Do I just immediately get thrown into Sarduth? No, Peter Quill. Your record is instead given by those who knew you in life. Ooh, yeah. I might have some problems. Doubtful. 
I've seen your dedication to the Cree child and woman, and to this crew, and what you did for me. It is a testament to your worthiness. Oh, uh... <laughs> Thanks. If anyone deserves a happy afterlife, Drax, it's you. Think you'll be adding any more to your tattoos? Yes. Like maybe a Guardians of the Galaxy logo? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Good enough for me. I hope Peter Quill has convinced our guest to fight alongside us. Judging from the tone of voice, he was more annoyed than convinced. Which one? Quill or Golden Boy? They both sounded annoyed. Annoyed or not, we have to work with him. We need someone strong enough to keep Raker in check if we want any chance to get to Nikki. explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Hey, Ultraveler. Have you accepted the truth of a divine promise? We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. Thank the Matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. Them bars and betting parlors and noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great, cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save her girl. I, I know it's important to you. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kind of understood that. I am Groot. Same here. Can't wait to whoop some robe flarkers. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. I'd man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any 
lingering effects from the promise. Conceals. Magus and the church must be stopped. Gotta make the Flarkers pay for what they did to Nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. Okay. Let's be cool. Let me handle these guys. Fulfillment. A what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Ah! Decorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. I don't mean to pry, so I'll let you. Nothing stays still forever. Assuming we find the girl, how do we sever her connection with Magus? We don't. Cocoon boy ain't around to suck it up afterward. We'll just have to reason with her. We need to move if we want to find Nikki. Yeah, Quill's just doing some uh, preparation work, I guess. Well, we should prepare faster. The Rift's the end of the known universe, bud. Don't see how it figures into anything. Scott! 
What? Cosmos Towers shut down. Why, you good? That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an accessory in stored here. a lot of ships patrolling. Just be thankful they aren't shooting at us. Won't hear me complaining. Stunk sometimes, but. Flark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throw can be very convincing. So can the promise. Got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hell's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Which part? He hasn't stopped talking since we met him. About how Nikki and that Magus thing might be too intertwined to save her. Is that what he said? It's easier to understand Bug Lady. Everyone quiet. We got company. Not fear death. Don't mean we can't hurt him first. Slash is the moment. Word is out about us. You'd think there'd be more of them. We should be better prepared. My blade's not dull yet. Bring it on. <laughs> It is acceptable to ask for help, Peter Quill! Appreciate the help, big guy! Cut them down and let's go! Why are you in such a rush? More batteries the deeper we go. Hundred units says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing... They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki.
When we are done here, we will need to tell a Rhapsodus about these adventures. A what? They are the keepers of Katathian lore. This will be an epic tale. I'm surprised the church was able to seize the cortex. It seemed pretty secure.